What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at divering. So we're not, I'm not going to really show too many implementations of it. I'm just basically going to show you what it is and how to, uh, how to set it up in the material editor. So what divering is, is without getting too complex, is it's basically when you have something that's going transparent, it's making the object become less opaque. Whereas with divering, it's, let, it's making pixels become fully transparent and then it sort of makes more of them and more of them become more fully transparent until it looks like it's invisible and if we look at this guy here we actually go into the instance and we start changing it i have some divering on here as you can tell he looks kind of transparent but in reality it just has divering on him and as i turn that up you can see more of those pixels are becoming fully opaque while less is becoming transparent and as we turn that down uh, less of the pixels or should I say more of the pixels are becoming fully transparent or less are becoming opaque and it gives the illusion that you've got this um, material that's becoming transparent it's a lot more cost effective than actually just making your material transparent overall and there's tons of different ways you can implement this you can have like a distance thing where when you get close you sort of fade out and this is really good because if you're having a character, for example, if you want the character, when the character's getting too close to the camera, you can have this effect happen. So you just end up looking through him instead of making him go completely like masked out. It's sort of a nicer way to achieve that. So how do we set this up? Um, again, I'm not going to show you too many ways to implement this. It's mostly going to be just how to get that node in and then you can use what you want um, later on to work with that node. So. If we right click, actually let's get to the folder first. Right click in our folder and we just go uh, basic divering. So in here we'll open this up. And let's say you've got your basic mesh. So we're going to go like uh, color of blue. Click OK. We're going to make it sort of a plastic. So no metallic. I didn't even need to plug that in to be fair. Uh, we're going to make it We'll make it shiny, which means like 0.2. Uh, to get the free constant, free left click, to get the one constant, one left click. And we need to select our material, go to opaque and set to masked. And then we need to right click and write divering. And then we just plug that into there. And then this is basically now our transparency. So if we set that, if we put a one constant in there, and we set it to zero it'll make it completely invisible and as we turn it up it'll make it more opaque so if we right click that convert to parameter and we just say divering and in our random we'll just set you to we'll set it to a scalar so s left click and we'll just say random but we'll default it at zero so what random does is it will sort of make it so it looks like the transparency or the differing is having a more random effect it'll make parts of it look more um thick and other parts more thin if we set this like a 0.5 value and set this maybe to a 10 so as you can see some areas will come out more thick and thinner and it just sometimes it helps with a blending effect especially if you're doing like uh, particle effects using this it might look a bit better um but if you just want a basic blending you don't want to have this randomness you could just set it to zero and that's basically it. So you can have tons of effects happening. Like you can have a Fresnel, for example, plugged into here. And it'll make it become transparent along the edges or vice versa. There you go, yeah. So it'll be transparent in the middle and differing along the edges. Basically, this becomes your new mask. So whatever you'd usually plug into opacity or even opacity masks, if you've got some effects that are using transparency and it gets transparent, for example, the character coming towards the uh, camera and it's becoming transparent. If you were originally using normal transparency and he's fading out, uh, instead you just plug it into opacity mask and you work at it the same way. So this input here is like using opacity here. And that's basically it. That is the um, sort of simple process of setting up divering. So if we click apply. And we'll just do a duplicate of this and we throw this onto here and here. And we double click this. Oh, no, double click this. Sorry. We right click this and create instance. And we throw that onto there, onto there. And then we double click the instance. We now have the setting. I kind of want to see the name of divering there. Let's put a saver. So if I look at this now, as I turn it up, 
It'll become less transparent as I turn it down, become more transparent. You can see very transparent there. And again, if you turn up the randomness, you can see it kind of tries to, you can see it really clearly here. It makes certain parts look thinner, certain parts look thicker. And it could be nice, but it's down to sort of personal preference, what you're kind of going for. Uh, if you, again, if you want just like a flat transparency or a flat differing, you could just set it as zero. And yeah, that's basically basic differing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.